Praise be thou, O my God, that thou hast ordained Nauru's as a festival unto those who have observed the fast for love of thee, and abstain from all that is abhorrent unto thee. Grant, O my Lord, that the fire of thy love and the heat produced by the fast and joined by thee may inflame them in thy cause and make them to be occupied with thy praise and with remembrance of thee. Since thou hast adorned them, O my Lord, with the ornament of the fast prescribed by thee, do thou adorn them also with the ornament of thine acceptance, through thy grace and bountiful favor. For the doings of men are all dependent upon thy good pleasure and are conditioned by thy behest. Today is the world's oldest holiday. This year, March 20th, marks the vernal equinox of the Earth's northern hemisphere and the autumnal equinox in the south. That day when the sun's light strikes the equator directly and illuminates every continent equally. You would think that the world's people would celebrate this day, and it turns out they do. Called Nauru. <laughs> At the time of the vernal equinox in the material world, a wonderful, vibrant energy and new life quickening is observed everywhere in the vegetable kingdom. The animal and human kingdoms are resuscitated and move forward with a new impulse. The whole world is born anew, resurrected. Gentle zephyrs are set in motion, wafting and fragrant. Flowers bloom, the trees are in blossom, the air temperate and delightful. How pleasant and beautiful become the mountains, fields and meadows. Likewise, the spiritual bounty and springtime of God quicken the world of humanity with a new animus and vivification. In 2021, 178 years after the beginnings of the Baha'i faith, Baha'is all over the world will celebrate Nauru's as the annual celebratory feast of renewal, spiritual and physical springtime. 
As the flowers bloom and the bushes bud out and birds trill in the trees, the Baha'is will smile and laugh and hug each other warmly. But for the Baha'is, Nowruz isn't just a party. It serves as a symbolic reminder of the oneness of the messengers of God and the spiritual springtime that each brought to humanity. The realm of thoughts and ideals is set in motion, and blessed with new life, minds are developed, hopes brightened, aspirations become spiritual, the virtues of the human world appear with freshened power of growth, and the image of likeness of God become visible in man. It is in the springtime of the inner world. All the virtues which have been deposited and potential in human hearts are being revealed from that reality as flowers and blossoms from a divine garden. It is a day of joy, a time of happiness, a period of spiritual growth. I beg of God that this divine spiritual civilization may have the fullest impression and effect upon you. And may you become as growing plants. May the trees of your hearts bring forth new leaves and variegated blossoms. May ideal fruits appear from them in order that the world of humanity, which has grown and developed in material civilization, may be quickened in the bringing forth of spiritual ideals. The former springtime has returned. The world is resuscitated, illumined and attained spirituality. Religion is renewed and recognized. Hearts are turned to God. The summons of God is heard, and life is again bestowed upon man. Hello, متمسك به زیل رحمتت متشبسم از تو آمرزش قدیمت را می طلبم و فضل امیمت را می جویم O my kind Lord, O Thou the desire of my heart and soul, bestow upon Thy friends Thy loving kindness and grant them Thine unfailing mercy. Be thou a solace to thine ardent lovers, and a friend, a comforter, and a loving companion to them who yearn for thee. Their hearts are ablaze with the fire of thy love, and their souls are consumed with the flame of devotion to thee. They long, one and all, to hasten unto the altar of love, that they may willingly lay down their lives. O Divine Providence, grant them thy favor, guide them aright, graciously aid them to achieve spiritual victory, and confer upon them heavenly bestowals. O Lord, assist them by thy munificence and grace, and make their radiant faces lamps of guidance in assemblies devoted to the knowledge of thee and signs of heavenly bounty in gatherings where thy verses are expounded. 
Thou art verily the merciful, the all-bountiful, the one whose help is implored by all men. Abdu'l-Baha On the first day of Nauruz in 1909, which he celebrated after his release from confinement, Abdu'l-Baha had the marble sarcophagus transported with great labor to the vault prepared for it. And in the evening, by the light of a single lamp, he laid within it with his own hands in the presence of believers from the east and from the west and in circumstances at once solemn and moving, the wooden casket containing the sacred remains of the Bob and his companion. When all were finished and the earthly remains of the martyr prophet of Shiraz were at long last safely deposited for their everlasting rest in the bosom of God's holy mountain, Abdu'l-Baha, who had cast aside his turban, removed his shoes and thrown off his cloak, bent low over the still open sarcophagus, his silver hair waving about his head and his face transfigured and luminous, rested his forehead on the border of the wooden casket and sobbing aloud wept with such a weeping that all those who were present wept with him. That night he could not sleep, so overwhelmed was he with emotion. The most joyous tidings is this, he later wrote in a tablet announcing to his followers the news of this glorious victory, that the holy, the luminous body of the Bob, after having for 60 years been transferred from place to place by reason of the ascendancy of the enemy and from fear of the malevolent and having known neither rest nor tranquility has, through the mercy of the Abba beauty, been ceremoniously deposited on the day of Nauru's within the sacred casket in the exalted shrine on Mount Carmel. By a strange coincidence, on that same day of Nauru's, a cablegram was received from Chicago announcing that the believers in each of the American centers had elected a delegate and sent to that city and definitely decided on the site and construction of the Mashal Askar. And this is from God Passes By. <laughs> Is there any remover? Qul subhanallah Save God. Kullun ibadun lahu Say praise be God. Wa kullu He is God. Ba amrihi ghaur All are his servants and all abide by his bidding. Al min mufarrijan ghayrullah Qul subhanallah Save God Huballah Say, praise be God Kullun ibadun lahu Wa kullun Ba amrihi Thou art he who all things worship, who worshipeth no one, who is the Lord of all things, and the vassal of none, who knoweth all things, and is known of none. Thou didst wish to make thyself None unto men, therefore thou didst do the word of the mouth and brain, creation into being, and fashion the universe, and fashion the universe is none other God except thee, the fashioner, the creator. The Almighty, the the most powerful, the fashioner, the the creator, the Almighty, the the 
most powerful. Shouldst thou regard him who hath broken the fast as one who hath observed it, such a man would be reckoned among them who from eternity had been keeping the fast. And shouldst thou decree that he who hath observed the fast hath broken it, that person would be numbered with such as have caused a robe of thy revelation to be stained with dust and being far removed from the crystal waters of this living fountain. Thou art he through whom the end sign, praiseworthy art thou in thy works, hath been lifted up, and the standard, obeyed art thou in thy behest, hath been unfurled. Make known this thy station, O my God, unto thy servants, that they may be made aware that the excellence of all things is dependent upon thy bidding and thy word, and the virtue of every act is conditioned by thy leave and the good pleasure of thy will, and may recognize that the reins of men's doings are within the grasp of thine acceptance and thy commandment. Prayer by Abdul Baha. O Lord, so rich in bounty, so replete with grace, whose knowledge does mine inmost heart and soul embrace. At morn, the solace of my soul is none but thee, the knower of mine ardent goal is none but thee. The heart that for a moment hath thy mention known will seek no balm save longing pain for thee alone. Withered be the heart that sigheth not for thee, and better blind the eye that crieth not for thee. In all mine hours of deepest gloom, O Lord of might, my heart has thy remembrance for a shining light. Do through thy favor breathe thy spirit into me, that what hath never been may thus forever be. Consider not our merit and our worth, O Lord of bounty, but the grace thou pourest forth. Upon these broken-winged birds whose flight is slow, out of tender mercy new-found wings bestow.
see trees of green, red roses too. I see them bloom for me and for you, and I think to myself. Days and the dark secret night, and I think to myself, What a wonderful world! The colors of the rainbow, so pretty in the sky, are also on the faces of people going by. I see friends shaking. Happy Nowruz, anyone, everyone. I hope this Nowruz brings you all the health and happiness you deserve and fulfills all your desires and needs.